Hi guys and welcome back to Sip, Sip Saver, Saver and, and Celebrate. Celebrate. I'm Devin. I'm Chris and welcome back. Today we're going to do Brothers, Brothers Bond. Bond. It's a bourbon made by celebrities. Woohoo! <laughs> no, well actually this one is a collaboration from Ian Summerhandler and Paul Wesley. They are from the television show uh, Vampire Diaries. It was on for about 10 to 15 years. Uh, great show. I enjoyed it. Um, but they took their friendship and their joking around and made it a reality. They just said, man, we love bourbon. Let's make a bourbon one day, you know, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Well, they actually ended up doing it. They made their uh, their dream a reality. Cool. Um, well, when you're a celebrity and you got the money, you can do it. <laughs> right, but I mean, you don't really have to be a celebrity to do that. We could make a sip, saver, and celebrate bourbon right here in your garage. This is true. This is true. So first of all, we all know to be called a bourbon, it needs to be made in the United States. Um, number two, you need to have at least 51% corn in your mash. Well, this one actually has 65% in the corn. It has 22% rye, and then the rest of it is made up by wheat and barley. They use the copper pot columns and copper pot double distillery methods to create this uh, spirit full of texture is what they say here um it's been aged for four years there you go i found okay. it okay um aged for four years in american oak barrels with a deep char of number four on the staves and number two on the barrel heads okay okay so it's in the same so this is small batch as it says on the bottle as you can see we're already done here's the last of it i've kind of drank a little bit of it uh 80 by volume uh, this thing is pretty dang good <laughs> uh, for for a good mixer bourbon. I like to use it for that. But let's let's see what we get and, and take a look at the color. You can see she's kind of a lighter amber, um, as you saw in our last Whiskey Wednesday uh, episode we just did on the Adictivo. That one was way darker than this. This is more of a light amber. So as it opens up here, because we've had it in the uh, glass for a little bit and letting some of the alcohol burn off a little bit, get a little bit better of a... Um, I still get that caramel, that cream, and that corn. Now I get that. I get I get a slight sweet corn, caramel. I get vanilla, and then I get some alcohol. That's what I get. That's what I get, definitely. I agree. You get that, you know, nice, uh, light finish of those barrels as well. Yeah. It just needed to open up because when we first opened it up, boy, I did not get those smells at first. But now it's had time to breathe and open up. I'm definitely getting those. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Number one, I get alcohol. Mm -hmm. So I get a whiskey alcohol, but curse you because I kind of feel like I'm tasting a little bit of a pickle barrel <laughs> from the other day. Um, I get I get that wheat, that barley. That's kind of where it's coming in right now. I am getting the slight corn. I, I think the wheat is overpowering, or the rye, the rye. Okay, I would agree that the rye is, is a little that, strong, but that corn is very soft in there. Yeah, so that explains why up. they went with such a high amount of corn. Yeah. Um, so because if they didn't, then this would I be way that's overpowered. that's what I was mistaking the pickle for, was really the rye. Okay. Now that I'm getting that, I'm, I'm, it's making more sense to me. And then, you know, that... There's a hint of vanilla there from the barrel, which is that oak. Um, the caramel kind of goes away. That cream kind of goes away. Yep. Yep. It's not a very lasting um, flavor. I think the last thing I get, once I get done tasting the actual flavors, I get kind of that alcohol evaporation mm -hmm. or the effervescence type uh, sensation. And then it's off your palate. Right. And then it's done. 
Um, and maybe that's kind of where, and this is a recommendation from my sister. Love you, Melissa. <laughs> um, she liked it because she absolutely loved the television show. I enjoyed the show, but I think she loved it a little more than I did, but I did love it and I watched a lot of it. Um, but I've used this in many of bourbon cocktails. I think that's what I would see best for this bourbon. Yeah. It, could you sip it? Yes, and 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 you could sip it neat, maybe on the rocks, uh, maybe a little bit in the uh, you know, in maybe add a, a a particular desired fruit of your own, maybe a cherry or something like that. But I definitely used it. I, I used it. It's 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 empty. <laughs> I do think the best use of that is a mix. I don't think that I could pick out a fruit and tell you this would be was great and even though two come to mind cherry and a blood orange one or the other i think if you threw a nice little slice uh, in a regular whiskey glass not in right smell these are designed uh, these uh glen karens are perfect for uh smelling and and tasting a spirit of any kind because uh, you can swirl it around and it's not flicking it everywhere <laughs> And then it gives it time to open up and coat the glass so that way right. you can kind of smell and then taste. That's why I use it. But I, I love blood orange, and I don't think I would even I bother be... with it. A cherry, sure. Um, but I've used it in many of... If anything, Manhattan I might and... just smoke it and, and, yeah. and try to bring out some more of those flavors that are in it. I with, have done that with, with this You know, um, <laughs> I would probably use an apple wood, honestly, or a cherry wood. Um, I think I used... Um, I think I used hickory. Well, the oh, one time there, you cannot go wrong smoking with hickory. <laughs> that is one of my favorite. It is so good. It adds so much body to to any any drink, whether it be bourbon, whiskey, tequila, rum. It just adds body to right. it. So um, to me, um, and I'm not saying this to be negative or nothing like that. To me, I think I prefer this way better in a mixed drink. So if you're going to make a Manhattan or a um, old fashioned. This is great. This is really good for it because it's kind of bold. It's not too sweet. It's not sweet. It's it's definitely not sweet. Um, as a sipper, I, I would enjoy it with do a, a cigar. whiskey sour. A whiskey sour would be good with that. Uh, gotta do it with with the egg whites. The right. only way to do a proper whiskey sour, guys. Let me ask you. What do you think that would do if you had a cigar? Do you think that would change it to something that you would enjoy sipping and doing a cigar with? Oh, of course. Because um, it is bold. And there's no sweetness to this. There's a slight bit of alcohol. I think that's where I would bring in a sweet cigar. So okay. um, That would complement it. Right. So like a fat buddy or a sweet jane um just that sweetness that you get from that that little cream mm -hmm. i think would open this up and and make it more pleasurable just to sit and right. and enjoy on its and, own and i'm only going to say this just because i just got done tasting the addictivo the addictivo i can see as a nice after dinner dessert sipping whiskey because that was sweet right and it was delicious this is not sweet it has bold flavors. Correct. Therefore, I think this would be good either in a mixed drink or if you're going to pair it with a cigar, maybe some ice to dilute it. Or I just would, a rock. I think? would use this with like your steak and kind of enjoy it with a steak to kind of break down some of those flavors okay. that you get out of a steak. Um, How and do you compare this to some of the other bourbons that you have? It's not top of the line, but it's definitely not bottom. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you that. I, I don't disagree. Um, it's not the bottom of the barrel <laughs> <laughs> to me. I mean, this is not like that turkey shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wild like Turkey that. 101 is so good, though. Um, Actually, I would have to rate this Maybe above. Maybe have to bring that back. I would this. have to rate this above Buffalo Trace for sure. Oh, really? I would. Um not really one of my favorites I don't know. check out our content because we have done the review on that um, making me think if i want to put that above or below i think i'd put it on par 
I would probably put this equal to like a Jack Daniels. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, no, no, no. I I disagree because you're getting those same bold flavors in the Jack Daniels that you're getting here. Uh -uh, however, Jack however, way this more is goods. a little bit smoother, so you're not getting that alcohol as forward. So mm -mm, I rate this higher than Jack Daniels. Sorry, sorry. I I wonder what that would do cooking with it. Um, Jamie Foxx is definitely well <laughs> below this, y'all. <laughs> Anyhow, but, um, I'm we've got about cooking. we've Anyways. got just a little bit left, so we're gonna end this with a cheers, guys. Thank you for tuning in today cheers. on our Whiskey Wednesday, and we Remember. hope you share us with your friends. And don't forget to sip, savor, savor and, and celebrate. celebrate. Cheers, cheers. y'all.